Hi, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a composite video where we're going to fill a couple of these jars. So, well, let's get started. All right. First, I'm going to do I'm going to do it two different ways. The first is by just using a picture that I found on Pixabay. So, just go to file, place, and then the picture we're going to use is this butterfly. It has to be a PNG, so it has a transparent background. If you use a, a JPEG or something else, you're going to need to cut it out first. So just click on the picture you want, and then when you get the little arrow with the circle under it, you just click and drag wherever you want it, and it will, where my layers go, there they went, it makes a new layer for it. And that's what you need to blend it, it has to be its own layer. So let's pick a jar. I think we're going to, we could put it in this front jar, but the front jar is really blurry. It's out of focus. So I think we'll put it in the back jar. We'll put it down here and we're gonna need to make it fit. That looks that looks pretty good. Alright. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and blur it a little to make it blend better. So we want to go up to layer. I like to make everything its own layer so I can adjust it later. So layer, new live filter layer, blur, and then just Gaussian blur. Make sure it's attached to the butterfly. And there we go. And you want to drag it until it matches. And I'd say that's close. We can always adjust it later. All right. That actually doesn't look too bad, but it needs um, a little bit of adjusting, a little more adjusting. So I'm going to come up here, actually down here, where it says adjustments, or you can come up to layer and new adjustment layer. And then I'm going to use the gradient map. I like to use the gradient map to blend colors. We're going to put it on the butterfly layer. That's my favorite way to blend colors. All right. We're going to use the reds for shadows. So I'll click on the red, grab the eyedropper, and find a dark color for a shadow. And green's going to be our mid-tones. So grab the eyedropper, and we're going to use maybe, uh, maybe that one. And highlights over here in blue. Click on the blue. The eyedropper can be nearly any color. This is a very bright picture. All right. And now we're just going to blend it a little um, by changing the blend mode. I think my screen might work. Overlay looks too bright. Soft light's pretty good. Sometimes linear light works, but not in this case. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try screen. And then we're going to change the opacity. So we'll start all the way at zero and then just move it up a little. There. It just sort of incorporates the colors from the background into the picture we're trying to blend. So you can adjust it however you like. But all right. Now we need to put it behind this jar. See, right now it's kind of sticking out in front. So we are going to put a mask on. You can just come down here where it says mask layer. Click it and oh, attach it to the butterfly. All right. And then push B. For brush or just click brush and then we want a soft brush well let's zoom in you don't want it to be super soft but you don't want it to be super hard because you're going to want to go and um, we're going to go around the edges of this jar here so we're going to do one that's kind of in between ish that looks good and colors so we're going to go to swatches here so let's start with black black should totally mask it out like it's gone and white will totally bring it back so if you want to make it look like it's behind the other glass jar you need to use a different shade so we're going to start with maybe I don't know we'll start with 25% black let's try that one and and that's actually probably too much, but you can see how it looks like it's behind there now. So let's go, let's go down to what was that one? 10%, let's try 10%. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. 
let's try 40 percent there we go <laughs> I was thinking okay we only want to do this on the part that's behind the front jar that way it makes it look like it's behind the front jar and that's still too too light so let's go up is that 50? Uh, 55. Let's try 55. All right, 55 is pretty good. And we actually want a little more up here where the glass is thicker. There we go. And then we can get our white again and follow the outline of the jar very carefully. There we go. All right, let's back up. So now it looks like it's behind that front jar. It looks like it's in the jar now. And of course you can always adjust yours however you need to, but that's how you do it. That's an easy way to do it anyway. Alright, we're going to add one more. We'll add one more to this. Maybe this back one. Maybe this front one. No, the back one. But we're going to do it in a different way. We're going to use a brush and, uh, and a picture. We're going to use a picture that we made. So, but to do that, you need to have a, your own new layer. So add a pixel layer. You, if you use the brushes for stamps to stamp things on, if you don't put it on its own layer, you can't blend it. So make sure you put it on a new layer. And then we'll just go to brushes and then we'll see if we can figure out where I put it. Oh, there it is. I made this brush out of a picture of a deer just for fun. So we're just going to click on that and I'm going to make it a little bigger here. And we're going to put it in this back jar. He has to be down there. Oh, his antlers are sticking out. There. All right, you just click once and he's in. All right, let's go back to the other brushes because I'm sure I'll need them. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing. But since we've already done it on the butterfly, we don't have to do it all over again. So we can just click on here and do uh, Control C and then Control V, copy paste and add it to the deer layer and, and then we'll just double click on the new one that we just made and we can blur it more or blur it less however we want it's really going to be very close to the same same with the gradient map and you, if you don't want to do control c and control v just do control j and that copies it too we'll drag it up here to our deer and there you go he really didn't need much blending because he was kind of already the colors of the picture but did it anyway so you don't have to all right and we will give it its own mask though drag the mask down whoops there we go okay now let's get the brush tool back that we were using before and so this time the only part that we're really gonna see a lot of is right here everything else needs to be kind of hidden behind this front jar so Let's just start in the middle here. Where did I start at? 55 again? 60. I started at 60. We'll at least use that and see how it goes. Just go over the parts that are in the other jar. So now it looks like he's behind the jar and he's peeking around. And that is really how easy it is to just put things in glass jars and blend them. <laughs> There's not much else to do. I could add shadows, but this is such a bright picture. I don't think that they really need a shadow. And if you wanted to try and blend the whole thing, we can do some other stuff. We can uh, usually just adding curves or levels and changing the lighting. We'll kind of blend all the pictures together. That's too much. I also like to sometimes go up here to layer, a new live filter layer, and down to lighting. I like lighting. Make sure it's on top, otherwise it's only going to do whatever layer it's on. And move the lighting around, because that really can change the look of a picture so quickly. And in this case, I think we're going to change it from spot to point, and then get rid of the specular. And I'm just going to grab the edge here and shrink it, and put it back here like it's coming in a window. And then we're going to change the blend mode to something else. Oh, screen is too bright. <laughs> Probably just soft light. 
and you can move it around you can move it way over here just so it looks like there's a little light coming in the side but that's just another way to help kind of blend the pictures all together and for the butterfly over there I've noticed I think he's a little a little too bright so I'm going to click on the butterfly and just lower the opacity just a little there help him blend a little the deer I think looks fine Oh, there you go that's how easy it is to fill the jars so I'm, I'm gonna put this jar picture on my website so that you can uh, download it and then practice with it but as far as the other stuff goes you can just find any old picture you want on the internet somewhere where it's okay to take pictures from but make sure it's a PNG or if you're gonna use a brush make sure it has its own layer and I hope you found something useful in this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more.